Joining us today in a CNBC exclusive is Michael Chip CEO Ganesh Murthy. Ganesh, it's great to have you back. Uh, eventful week, obviously, for the industry at large, and we've heard commentary uh, that's been pretty much all over the map. But can you sort of distill it and tell us where we're going right now? Sure. Good morning, Carl, and uh, thank you for having me on again. Uh, you know, what we try to provide is some insight into where the next six months are going, and we do see some weakness in three different areas. First, in uh, China, uh, not having recovered and uh, unclear how much recovery there will be in the second half of the year. Uh, second, in seeing automotive and industrial end markets, which had historically been very strong, starting to show some signs of weakness as well. And third, seeing Europe uh, with some impending signs uh, of perhaps a slowdown coming from there. And parts of Europe have a large export economy, and I think it's linked to a weak China sometimes will also mean a weak Europe because some of their exports don't go as well as they thought. Ganesh, I have a question about your outlook here. A number of analysts are asking about your confidence and your ability to execute a soft landing in light of all these different pressures and especially some of that weakness overseas. What are you, what are you expecting? So we're expecting that, you know, there will be some revenue headwinds. Um, we've given guidance for the September quarter. We've said there's going to be some amplified seasonality in the December quarter uh, on the downside. That said, we have a business model that is extremely resilient with respect to what our gross margins our operating margins, and our cash flow does. I mean, you think of the, the soft landing, that's what the levers we have are, is to work on the things that helps to preserve the gross margin, operating margin, and the cash flow. And if you look at 15 years of history, which I posted on our website, you'll see what we have done through all of the different recessions, the most deep recessions from 2008 and 9 to some of the more shallower ones and everything in between. And those are the three things we want to hold resiliency for in a soft landing. And you mentioned weakness in China. Are you seeing any signs of, of improvement there? Not yet. And, uh, you know, we're through the month of July. Uh, there are some expectations that the Chinese government may make moves here in uh, August and September. We don't see that yet. There is certainly optimism as we speak to some of our partners and customers there. But nothing we have seen yet. Interesting. FT's got a story on the tape right now, uh, Ganesh, that uh, the lines of communi communication between China and the U.S., are, uh, are improving uh, after Blinken's visit. I just wonder whether or not you think we'll be talking more or less about things like export controls in the quarters to come. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's been um, a, a, an issue for our industry, and we have been uh, quite vocal about it through the Semiconductor Industry Association. Uh, we do hope that the increased dialogue at various levels between the U.S. government and the Chinese government can get to a place that is more constructive between the two companies. Um, but we also recognize that, uh, you know, it is happening under the context of national security and other discussions which really are not in the field that the businesses are as close to. We are doing our part to inform our policymakers on what the impact, both intended and unintended, can be from export control regulations.